the next video is the next instalment for Doctor Sleep and we're up to chapter 5. Wendy nagged her son out of bed at noon. She managed to get a little soup and half a peanut butter sandwich into him, but then he went back to bed. He still wouldn't speak. Halloran, Halloran arrived shortly after five in the afternoon, behind the will of his now ancient but perfectly maintained and blindingly polished red Cadillac. Wendy had been standing at the window waiting and watching as she had once waited and watched for her husband, hoping Jack would come home in a good mood and sober. She rushed down the stairs and opened the door just as Dick was about to ring the bell marked Torrance 2A. He held out his arms and she rushed into them at once, wishing she could be enfolded there for at least an hour. Maybe two. He let go and held her at arm's length by her shoulders. You're looking fine, Wendy. How's the little man? He talking again? No, but he'll talk to you. Even if you won't do it out loud to start with, you can. Instead of finishing, she made a finger gun and pointed it at his forehead. Not necessarily, Dick said. His smile revealed a bright new pair of false teeth. The overlook had taken most of the last set on the night of the boiler, the blue. Jack Torrance swung the mullet, mullet, mallet that took Dick, den Dick, Dick's dentures and Wendy's ability to walk without a hitch in her stride, but they both understood as really being the overlook. He's very powerful, Wendy. If he wants to block me out, he will. I know from my own experience. Besides, it'd be better if we talk with our mouths. Better for him. Now tell me everything that happened. After she did that, Wendy took him into the bathroom. She'd left the stains for him to see like a beat cop preserving the scene of a crime for the forensic team. And there had been a crime. One against her boy. Dick looked for a long time, not touching, then nodded. Let's see if Danny's up and in the doings. He wasn't, but Wendy's heart was lightened by the look of gladness that came into her son's face when he saw who was sitting beside him on the bed and shaking his shoulder. Hey Danny, I brought you a present. It's not my birthday. Danny, Wendy watched them knowing that they were speaking but not knowing what it was about. Dick said, get on up honey, we're going to take a walk on the beach. Dick, she came back, Mrs. Massey from 217 came back. Dick gave his shoulder another shake, talk out loud Dan, you're scaring your ma. Danny said, what's my present? Dick smiled, that's better. I like to hear you and Wendy does too. Yes, it was all she dared say, otherwise they'd hear the tremble in her voice and be concerned. She didn't want that. While we're gone, you might want to give the bathroom a cleaning, Dick said to her. Have you got kitchen gloves? She nodded. Good. Wear them. And that ends that instalment for Dr. Sleep.